Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Derek here. We are back reacting to another episode of Lucifer. This is season six, episode two. This is the final season, remember? This episode is titled Buckets of Baggage. So where did we leave off with Lucifer? Uh, last episode uh, was <laughs> the a magic themed episode. So Lucifer took Chloe to this like magician's uh, ceremony show type thing where he's supposed to be handing off his his uh, title or whatever and he died uh, or his, his assistant died rather um, and it was just like a whodunit type uh, murder mystery uh, set inside this like magic show. Uh, we learned that Lucifer maybe doesn't necessarily f feel super worthy of the title of God quite yet because you know God is supposed to be uh, he's supposed to be there for everyone. He's supposed to care about everyone. And right now, Lucifer only cares about really his own selfish desires. Like, he only wanted to be God for his own selfish desires. And so he's kind of, you know, at least he's self-aware of the fact that he doesn't care about other people that much. And, and he so he doesn't feel worthy of the title. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, Chloe, she's still got that magic punch and power. Um, so she's going to be pretty chill right now. Uh, and then Dan, Dan is still, he's kind of like in a purgatory type place right now where he's just playing ping pong with some demons for all eternity. <laughs> uh, but episode one ended with uh, a mystery person now sitting on the throne of hell. Uh, someone, someone with some pumps uh, as shoes, uh, probably a girl, um, maybe potential fallen angel of some form, you know, who knows. Um, uh, we'll find out, I guess. You know, I kind of, I kind of thought we were going to be d doing away with the case of the week type thing, uh, of the series, given that it's the final season and they're not cops anymore. But last week definitely was a case of the week type scenario. And based on the, um, just description of this episode, uh, on Netflix, it looks like it's going to be another case of the week, which isn't thrilling, but I'm willing to look past that, um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, before we jump into it, please consider leaving a like on the video. It means a ton to me. Helps my channel out a lot. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more reactions to Lucifer, uh, the final season, or any other show that I'm watching on the channel. Uh, and then if the full-length reaction to this episode is something you're interested in, consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all my full, uncut reactions in watch-along format, so you just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. Uh, there you can also become a super supporter and get featured in every single one of my videos. But other than that, let's jump into it. Are they having sex? <laughs> or playing a game? Are they wrestling? Ping pong? This seems like a, a room that sex would happen. Yeah, okay, yep, yeah, they're having sex. Oh, because he can go as hard as he wants now. Because she has that I weird thought, stick. Deals rot being used in my sex life oh, would be gross. such a great thing. Don't say it like that. And I know. If I had known all I had to do was love you, and that the simple act of loving you would make me feel worthy of you, which would then mean that my body would no longer have to tell my unconscious mind to be vulnerable, allowing us to have no holds barred sex all night long. Well, then. That's very complicated. Have you seen <laughs> Lucifer. Awkward. Let it try to knock. Your door is an elevator. Yeah, and it dings. So, how's it hanging, big guy? Oh. You're hanging. <laughs> it's time, Lucy. Time for you to assume your place on Father's throne. See, maybe when you still call it Father's throne, she maybe uh, he what feels it's not quite God. his. We just fought a war for him. Well, technically, I did most of the fighting. Um, he still did some fighting. I need to be able to help people that I don't care about. If I prove I can do that, then I prove I can be God. I mean, not well, quite. I suppose you've had worse ideas. But like yeah, I mean, the the outcome you know, isn't necessarily a bad one. But really do the thought process is not me. correct. I don't think. <laughs> I've driven on that road in GTA. Jackie Chan and Michelle Yeoh. Bro, please tell me they're gonna be um, in this episode. I love 
Michelle Yeoh. Yeoh. Yeah, she steals the whole thing. Right? She is such a badass. Like, she, she comes is. out of nowhere. Yeah. Remember that part? She's in uh, Shang-Chi, if you want to watch that movie. Super good. You're like, bah! It's okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, oh, awkward. Yeah, don't don't think back to the murder. Um, you know, if they're showing this thing all week, we should murder. What? I mean, I mean, dead murder. Over there. What was the cause of death again? Well. Oh, a heel to the neck. Oh, hey, Lucifer. Out of my way, Miss Lopez. I care about you. <laughs> But you I care about you. I don't care about you at all. And that is why I'm going to help you. Congratulations. You have won the prize. Personal barista at your service. Don't drink coffee. Oh what? I don't drink coffee either. It's gross. Tell me, Carol, what is it you truly desire? He truly desires to go on a date with Ella. Really? I'm all good. Oh, I have used the complex time. I want someone I can spend the rest of my life with. Someone who loves me for who I am. Somebody I can wake up next to in the morning and just totally connect with. Damn, huh? Carol, don't I we all? You want sex. I don't need your help to have sex. Uh, I could just come back later. Um, no, Ella, um, we, we were just, uh, t <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what's up? He's clearly lying to manipulate me, right? I mean, what are the chances we both like the same thing? I um, mean, well, Kung Fu movies are dope, like, so. so pretty high. He picked up my bag. Who does that? Murderers. It's just really hard to trust someone after your last BF was an SK. Serial killer. Serial killer. Come on, Chloe. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Carol isn't a serial killer. He could be, we don't know. Yeah, but you didn't know. I panicked. Why do I, I recognize this lady? What a stand up citizen, wouldn't you agree, Detective? Is she in Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide? That's not this is like Moe's, or, or whatever the character's name is. I know a drag queen named Busty who performs at Hamburger Mary's. Busty Bazungas. There can't be two of those. <laughs> Unintended. Okay. Well, Maybe this guy's a drag queen. That would fit with the description of the episode. Um, it's clicking in my brain. They're there for a reason, but, you know, at least for the best. Because... Of course, she just opens it up. The lock, it's just <clears throat> broken. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're gonna just come on. Uh. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Uh, Why would the personnel files be oh, God. in the same spot as evidence? That's why I'm so El Diablo. I'm a ten. I'm a ten. He's from uh, like two seasons ago. Or one season ago. I think wow. one season, the first half of it. Could you tell me where a Miss Bazungas uh, would be? Busty. Yeah, she's about to go on. She's just running a scotch behind. Poor thing. She barely had time to talk. Her wiener. Our regular headliner didn't bother to show tonight. Wait, wait, wait. You, you think Brian did this? Who's Brian? Uh, Brian's. Drag persona is Busty, the queen taking Fiona's spot. Busty, got it. Okay. okay. Maybe we should me. stick with either their persona names or the uh, law given names <laughs> for, for the purposes of this investigation. That's why the lady is a tramp. It is Lucifer. She gets massages, she howls and she moans. <laughs> That's why the lady is a tramp now. Okay. The, the only thing that's missing from this song so far is I think both of them need to eat a plate of spaghetti and meet in the middle. <laughs> like in the movie Lady and the Tramp. Carol's enjoying it. 
Good job. What's this one's name? Is this Busty? Slash Bryant, slash whichever one they want to call her. And lately I've been working on serving more fish. What does that mean? Oh. Like what? Serving more fish? Everybody sees drag as this pinnacle of self-discovery that once you found this world, this life, that's it. It's supposed to be this fierce idol that's got it all figured out. Godlike. Okay. Another direct connection to Lucifer. Got it. But confidence is a work in progress. I mean, when is anyone's chicken ever fully cooked? Okay, so maybe Lucifer needs to realize that maybe there won't be a moment where he feels 100% there as God and he's just kind of Take it as a work in progress. If you want to help me see that, even one step the at a time. Can give me strength. It still has to come from within. Yeah. I think I was holding part of myself. I was afraid that, well, that if I put too much effort into being God, that you would fail, Lucifer. A pretty queen. That people would laugh at me. Not in a good way. But okay. I we gon' change it. Queens like baby. me gotta work on facing all of our fears and knowing we're enough. Wow, this sounds very heartfelt. <laughs> Honestly, what exactly were you? Shout out to that drag queen for really discovering herself. I don't know what's going I am Busty Bazoongas, <laughs> but until I can look within and own that. I will never be who you're truly meant to be. Yeah. Lucifer has a realization every episode. Good luck on that one. And it always comes directly from the person they're talking to. Who? Miss Thang? Who'd I be sitting on the throne? Miss Boots? Who you is, Shouty? Um, excuse me. You, you're not allowed here. Your that Negasonic Teenage Warhead? Who are you? Bruh, don't touch her. She'll kill you. You're an angel? I don't understand. Who are you? What are you doing here? Why are your wings red? And sound metallic? Let me see him. You wanna help me destroy Lucifer Morningstar? Why? Miss Warhead, why are you trying to Lisa, destroy wait. Lucifer? Photograph of his mum. <laughs> of Kung Fu posters everywhere, see? He's clearly what he presents to be, a poster boy for beige. And since that's what we've got all these days, you win. <sighs> Just suits. No normal clothes at all. Personally, I am terrified at the amount of car keys he owns. Cockies? Goodness me. <laughs> Why would you pronounce that like that? Here. Might send for a maid service to enhance your Oh no, are they gonna find something? Down and dirty. What the hell is that? It's got the symbols from Squid Game on it. Maybe you can help me out with some, <clears throat> some sparring lessons? Sparring lessons? Hey, she wants to learn how to fight. No Decker. Okay, well that's rude. Why would you kick her like that? What the hell was that? I said, I want to spar, bitch. Wow. <laughs> she said, bitch. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. And she said, Bitch. Come on. Okay, you don't break your stuff. Like, this is still your house full of your things. You own this furniture. 
I mean, maybe you won't, you won't care, because you'll be in heaven soon, but, you know. I'm sure Trixie might have wanted to sit on that stool at one point. Miss Lopez! Oh, did you look at that? It broke. Oh, it's, it's decorative blankets. Alcohol? Maybe he's a recovering alcoholic. Well, it is a fairly good bottle of smudge, One day at a time. Like I have a kill. One day at a time. Carol's a recovering alcoholic. Oh, that is fantastic news. I mean, well, I mean no, yeah, no, it's no, way no. better than murder <laughs> flowers. <laughs> that's that's funny. I, I live close Carol. by, so I guess we're neighbors. Carol, there's wow. someone there, Carol. What a coincidence. Carol, see you soon. there's foot on the, on the stairs, Carol. You're gonna need to go save his life. Knocked unconscious. Oh, Mr. Manager, what are you doing here, buddy? Okay, I'd take a few quick steps back and pull your gun, Carol. He was sleeping with my boyfriend. Awkward. Are you dating Busty? Truly, it's happened to me before. I don't. Yeah. Oh, now nah, he's relating to Ella. Did you know me too? Lied. Get things from me. No, no. Awkward. Awkward. Super cop. God damn. <laughs> You're a great team. Same time tomorrow? Yeah. What's up with you? Chloe, are you okay? Are you addicted to this? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm bringing it. Is, uh... Does this weird power stick... Yeah. Is it like drugs? Mm -hmm. Well... He likes you. I'm just gonna say it. I like you. I broke into your place. You did what? I saw you. As for the year uh, that is missing, I... I was in rehab. Maybe Vice. He had to. He had to get real deep in Vice. I'm just the best version of myself again. This is the best version of you. Well, I. I, I, I get it. feel like we could do a little better, Carol. Figuring out who you really are. What's up, Negasonic? Sorry. <laughs> I'm not here for ping pong. Okay, but if you want the info from him, ping pong might be the way to go. Oh, holy wow. I heard you almost killed the devil. Yeah. Almost. It was one of the worst things I've ever done. In fact, I feel really guilty about it. That's your... That's your thing. Very guilty. What, you think I'm stupid? A little bit, probably, yeah. Shit, well, you know what? I'm not gonna help you out of Mexico. I don't care who you are. She's a Negasonic oh, Teenage Warhead. I can get you out of here. How are you gonna do that? <laughs> it's not possible. See, I can just fly you up to Earth. Any angel can. And we all know it. So then why would Lucifer leave me down here for thousands of years? Because of the whole the free will Maybe. thing, right? Maybe I can't help you. Bruh. Don't help Negasonic it's Teenage Warhead. Now. Wow. Wow. Hey. You're still up there? Thanks. And her car explodes. A boyd. A dead boyd. A frock. Never mind. Not a bird. Is that? Is the apocalypse coming? That's that's, what the, that's one of the plagues. The. <laughs> What the frick? 
Okay, another fun episode of Lucifer. Uh, I actually thought that the uh, case of the week this time wasn't that horrible. It was kind of interesting. Um, I think I think it was interesting because they didn't put a lot of focus on trying to figure out who did it, if that makes sense. Like they they introduced the case of the week, but then they kind of more used that as a vehicle for other parts of the story and and didn't they didn't spend too much time on investigations and and interviews and clues and all these things like they still had aspects of that but like it, it wasn't as important if that makes sense um it was uh it was fun too like the i, th I thought the the drag queen song was fun um i thought busty what gave some great philosophical advice on on accepting yourself um, and and realizing that it's not going to be a uh, you know one day you have it all type thing. It's an everyday process. You know, you know, one step along the way each day. Uh, I thought that was great, I, and I I think uh, it applied both to um, Lucifer and his uh, his quest to become God. Like he he's kind of waiting for the I'm fully worthy moment, but he kind of just needs to take it one day at a time. Uh, one human at a time, maybe. Um, you know, it's a it's a ever evolving process in, into feeling like he is worthy of being God, and uh, I'm excited to see him progress further along. Um, but it also applies to Carol, right? Because he's a he's a recovering alcoholic. Uh, he spent two years in Vice, and that undoubtedly had an impact on him. Because uh, my guess is. <laughs> when you're undercover in vice you probably have to do a lot of things both violent things and some drug things so uh he was an alcoholic and then he spent a year in rehab and he's just a genuine nice guy i hope i hope that there is nothing messed up about this dude because ella needs good things to happen in her life she has been just like struggling <laughs> the entire series right like since ep the first episode she appeared you know her her life has not gone perfectly <laughs> uh to say the least um uh, so i think i think she needs some some quality people in her life um and i think carol he he all he desires is to to grow old with someone and it's just precious and he's cute and it's just like they're cute together it's like just be happy okay um what are some other important things um ooh, chloe she's being a little weird with the whole power stick thing like i don't know if it is just started like she just enjoys it but like she's getting real attached to that feeling um you know, she, she, her and Lucifer banged quite a bit at the beginning of the episode, and then she had a sparring match with Maze that she got real into, and Maze was like, hey, chill out there, psycho, <laughs> and she just got, she got real, real into it, um, so hopefully that is not a concerning thing going forward, um, what else? Um... Yeah, Lucifer still doesn't care about all the people in the world, which, again, maybe maybe the same process applies to him. You know, okay, so at the beginning of the episode, he, he described this, like, complicated process of, of how he, in order to love Chloe, he just had to love, actually love her, and then, you know, step by what yada, 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 he became super good at having sex for a long time with her maybe in a weird sense that same type of process could apply to him being god i don't know uh maybe in order to become someone who cares about everyone he just kind of needs to accept the throne and maybe it's like a an inherent thing with becoming god maybe maybe you just subconsciously like it happens and you just care about ever i don't know um but he did <laughs> i want him to be happy maybe he shouldn't be god like who is maybe amenadiel should be god <laughs> i mean amenadiel wants to be a cop though so uh, 
I, th I think maybe a mana deal is the, still the better choice to be God, if I'm honest. Um, what else went down? Uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead is trying to kill Lucifer. I think that's her, right? Okay, yeah. So that's um, Brianna Hildebrand. She plays Negasonic Teenage Warhead in the in the Deadpool movies. <laughs> I saw her and I was like, is that you? Uh, so she is, she's playing someone named Rory. That's the, I don't know who that is, but that's just the, the character's name is Rory. Um, like Rory Gilmore from Gilmore Girls. <laughs> she's going to become a, a newspaper editor. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, uh, she is, she's doing her thing. Um, she wants to kill Lucifer for some reason. Uh, not sure why, but she's got these like sick red wings that like sound like metallic-y so that's kind of crazy um and she wants to murder lucifer and she's gonna talk to michael but then uh figures out that dan actually came closest to killing lucifer and so she's kind of manipulating dan even though he he caught on to like half her manipulation uh the second half of her manipulation he either like didn't notice or he's kind of fine with because she's like hey yeah angels can take you up whenever you want um but i thought lucifer explained last time that if he if he just takes dan out of hell and puts him in heaven or or on earth or whatever that's like eliminating the, the whole free will part of of things like that's an important aspect i guess um and and in doing so, that's like a big no-no. Um, but I feel like Lucifer breaks rules all the time. So like, really, he, he probably could just ignore that one. Um, <laughs> but she's like, heck yeah, man. I'll take you up out of, out of purgatory, out of, out of hell. And uh, all you got to do is, is tell me how you almost killed Lucifer. And whatever reason she wants to kill him, I don't know. But I, I hope... This does not lead to Dan. I don't want Dan to get hurt and I don't want Dan to become a pseudo bad guy. So we'll, I guess we'll, we'll find out. Um, but, but then the episode ends, the episode ends on Carol and Ella's date, which went swimmingly, uh, went great. They had a fun time. You gave her a nice little peck on the cheek. Um, and she's like praying to God or, that she or whatever I wonder if it's a situation of like the more that so like a frog falls from the sky like that's like a sign of like a plague that's like one of the plagues frogs falling from the sky the apocalypse is coming uh I wonder if the more people pray like since there's nobody technically on the throne does the more people pray does that have like an adverse weird anti-effect on the world i don't know like <laughs> anything could happen i guess um i'm not sure but i guess we'll find out because there's only there's only 10 episodes of of this season right compared to 16 from uh last season which is real nice um so i don't know i'm excited uh let me know what you guys thought of this episode down below. If you are not super far, like if you're still in episode two, like me, what do you think is going to happen next? Um, if you're past episode two, uh, don't tell me what happens, obviously. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. That would mean a ton to me. Help start a conversation. Um, yeah, like like what, what what's going on with Chloe? <laughs> why, why is she being so weird? I don't know, man. Uh, if you liked my reaction please leave a like on the video helps my channel out a ton helps my videos get seen more uh, subscribe if you want to see more reactions from me whether it be to the final season of lucifer or star wars visions or midnight mass which comes out in five minutes as i'm recording this yeah subscribe if you're interested in any of that ring the bell so you're notified when i upload uh, and then if full-length reactions are something that interests you consider supporting me on patreon i post all my full uncut reactions in watch along format so you just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me there you can also become a super supporter and get featured in every single one of my videos but other than that thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time peace